I've developed another mental image that might help you. This is how you get the world's best backswing. Remember, J Jack Nicholas, at his time, his competitive advantage was a ridiculously big shoulder turn that no one else had. And uh, so here's how you do it. First, everyone wants to lift the club, think about the club head coming up, thinking about an arc. Don't do that. Think about pushing the club away. Let me show you. So here's the drill. Stand up to the ball, address it. Now do this. Pretty weird, right? Turn, push. Look at that. Look at this shoulder turn. So boom, boom, boom. Now, the wrists are important. You gotta have the palm facing up. Uh, that's supination. You can't do this. So think of this as well. So go, uh, you can put your hands together and go, okay? Now, here it is. So I also lift my left heel a little bit. So I'm thinking about pushing this, pushing as if I'm handing it out, you know, handing the club to somebody. Now look at that, it's straight. This is straight, it's not bent yet. At horizontal, if you can keep it straight, then you've got the world's best backswing because look at this shoulder turn and it's setting you up for the white. It's also forcing you to be, it's forcing you to do all these right things, okay? So think about just pushing it out there. Now, how do you get from here to here? That's what I talked about earlier. I noticed it with Brooks Kepka and stuff is I flex the left wrist or whatever, whatever you think of, you're doing this or this. So when you're out here, then use the wrist to get out here, okay? Look, I'm handing it to you. I'm handing you the club, see? There you have it.